What's up y'all? It's King Brittany Chanel and I'm back with another video. So it appears that Az had a sit down um, with the media to finally share her story for the first time. We're going to be talking about this, but before we do, definitely make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. And let's get into my commentary on this. <laughs> Let's get into the honey for the tea. It has been a week, darling, for Kay out here because As has finally sat down to do um, an exclusive interview with, I believe this is the, uh, it says the U.S. Sun, but she finally did an interview and she shares a lot of gems and um, very interesting information that confirms a lot of things that people believe about this situation. And it gives us some insight to what has been going on with this situation. Now, when I seen the interview, I was like, OMG, especially when she started talking about, um, you know, the part about not being in communication with her family because they were not able to talk about that. I'm going to get into all of this, y'all, because like I said, I feel like with As, I feel like it's it's a lot going on with her. Like, I feel like it's just a lot going on with this whole situation, but I definitely felt like it was something going on with her because you, if you, if you looking at this picture, this man had this young lady dressed up like a Jezza. Bell, if you look at the picture with the red painted lips and the, uh, you know, the blonde wig on, and you could tell it was some manipulation and stuff going on with this man. Like you, it just, I mean, looking at these pictures of this relationship, it just, to me, it just don't seem like a normal couple to me. So I like, I just feel like it's a lot going on with this situation, honey. I feel like it's just, you don't know what to expect. I mean, I feel like it's manipulation. I mean, lies is coming out, you know, or, you know, being put out. And then, you know, people is telling the truth to uh, refute the lies. It's just a lot going on, y'all. It's just, let's get into it, y'all. Because, I mean, it was a lot to unpack with this. But when she was like, he had put the paws on her um, with the size 12 Air Force Ones, I said, oh, Lord, this man. And it's just, it's, it's, a, it's been a week for him, y'all. Three of his counsel have withdrew from a certain, um, I think that civil situation out in um, the shy. And then now this interview. And y'all could go to the website to watch the uh interview because i'm not gonna play it i don't have time for that but um let me give y'all the gist of what's going on so basically it says here let me see who's the author emma Pari, uh digital u.s correspondent this is uh posted via las vegas nevada january 29 2020 eastern standard time they got it okay so it says K has hundreds of uh, Vicks in every city across the U.S., but they will never come forward because he has BLK dot 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 mailed them into silence. And basically, uh, it's, it says that there's some claims that, you know, like I said before, <clears throat> when you see a lot of these women, a lot of things they have in common is that he would, um, from what claims were, he would make them prove their loyalty to him by doing something so that they could get their hands dirty so that he could have that over their head. But that's just not a case situation. I feel like that's just like a, to me, that's the shady side of, I feel like the industry, like it's a lot of people who have that philosophy because what way to 
you know, get people all the way together than to be able to uh, yoke that uh, that chain back when somebody getting out of line to say, listen, I know that you did this. So I feel like Kay was only learning from, um, you know, who he learned it from. You feel what I'm saying? It's, I feel like that's something that they do. That's the shady side of I feel like, you know, the uh, enemies... Uh, part of the business you feel what I'm saying but anyway uh it says speaking out against K uh for the first time as Re claims he would film women basically like I said probably in some compromising uh situations or something that would have them looking real crazy to the point where they would not be able to point the finger at him because you know, hey, I got this letter that you wrote. Hey, you, you put this, you know, you did this. You feel me? So it's kind of like a file. So where he could go in that file folder and be like, okay, you want to play? You remember when you did this? So people have said that before. Um, I remember the girl, uh, what's her name? Faith was saying um, when the whole series came out and she was speaking out that, you know, people... Or somebody was saying they was going to put a video or her pictures out. So, uh, I'm, I'm thinking that it's crazy. Y'all got to see this photo gallery of how this dude was looking. Like, this is clearly not, no, to me, it doesn't look like a normal relationship. How, you know, how you, she looks in comparison to him. Like, to me... This is why I feel like, you know, a lot of people had a perspective on it, but I just personally feel like, um, the issue that I had is why was this young lady even taken to a K concert when during her generation, he was not the it man of, uh, R and B that's old school generation. You know, the people from her time period is Chris Brown, Trey Songz, Drake. You feel what I'm saying? Like, B2K. Like, those, and Bow Wow. All of those people were, you know, it type of uh, youth music during her time period. So, for her to be even to me, like, going to a K, like, people's aunties and mamas would have been uh, fanning out to uh k basically in his music because he's not i mean i'm people my age and people from this generation they know who he who you know k is but the music in the like people that's relevant today jacques my sean sammy like people that's relevant you know chris brown justin bieber like people that's relevant to 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 today like, during that time period, it's like, why would y'all look to him to help her? I mean, I guess because of the whole songwriting thing. But when I think about him, I just think about him in the type of music that he would make that old school uh, R&B that would put people in the mood. Like, so that does not translate to how could I get a youth music career off the ground to me like I mean you feel what I'm saying it was so many different people that I personally feel like she could have worked with because even I think I don't know was Nikki out at that time even Nikki was doing a lot of features with people like up and coming people um people was doing mad features with people and you know even you know Soulja Boy set the trend of streaming and getting on the internet and putting your songs out you know justin bieber and all of that being discovered on youtube and all their other stuff so i just all of that to me it just seems like um uh, i don't know it seemed like more so older women uh lusted i would say after k i just when when i see him i just don't be like i don't know that's just me personally being i don't know being a part of the youth i don't know but it's just like what youth do you know that be looking at uh k like oh let me get with him like i don't know y'all maybe that's just maybe that's just me but that was a question that i had with all of these folks like it had to be i feel like influential uh ideas 
from the parents because that's their generation. So just looking at these pictures, it's like, what is going on with this dude, yo? And basically it says that as says she was madly in love with K and then she basically became brain dot dot washed and basically he was running the show, you know, after that, they say. And so here's some quotes from the interview. It says in an exclusive interview with the son, uh, as said, I think there's hundreds of Vicks out here or out there. And then basically it says K has his living girlfriends. He has girlfriends in every city. He has um, basically flings in every city. And then it says there's usually three main cities in every state. So three times 50. That lets you know how many women are probably out there. And that's probably not even hitting it on the nail. And a lot of people, because I was looking around, you know, um, it was mad people going live, Neek went live, um, somebody else went live talking about this also. And in the comment section, like I knew it was going to happen, it's a lot of people now questioning uh, the validity of her story because so many different details, you know, basically all of the social media posts and prior to this exclusive <coughs> have people like asking a lot of questions which I knew was going to happen because when you are in this type of situation, usually that's what happens. Like people, they question everything. They going through all your social media. They like anything that you say, if you even, you know, record video, it could be video from like years and years ago. People, you know, everything that you do or say can and will. So it was kind of like a mixed opinion about it. Like some people say, they believe her and what she went through like a hundred percent some people say ah i don't really know what to believe when it comes to uh her because of the inconsistencies before and then um some people were pointing out that during the interview or they felt like something that she does which from what i was seeing from the comments they are saying um which is the people, the people that be commenting, they are saying that she tries to minimize, they notice that she tries to minimize her role or as if like she just was angelic and just was not, I don't know, participating in anything that is K, but it's always like when you talk about the other girls, it's always in a, um, in a negative way. Like prime example, um, her on that the precedence series that she did when she was talking about how she was getting a bunch of blessings and then joy wasn't gonna have as many as her and then she turned around uh today and let me read the uh quote so y'all can know what the people are saying in the streets so basically this is the part that uh everybody is talking about for the most part, it says he uh, BLKs everyone. He makes everyone do very degrading stuff, whether on a uh, film or writing it down. He makes them sign it. And she goes on to say, this is the part that everybody is talking about, guys. And I think a lot of women are ashamed or embarrassed to come out because of stuff like that. It'll be, you know, basically making them look away, you know, or... They could be possibly in trouble for some stuff themselves, I'll say. And he has letters of people saying that they've taken stuff from him. He has letters from people saying that, you know, that, you know, their families have done um, harm to them. He has e he even has people on film, you know, uh, y'all know, just being very, doing stuff you ain't got no business doing. Okay, y'all can read the quote. And then it says, this is the part where people is talking about. And so I know a lot of women out there are too embarrassed, you know, humiliated and ashamed to come out because this man had that much power to, um, I would say, what's she saying? Control them to make them, you know, do, do stuff, okay? And she says, personally, I have never done anything like that. 
I would be entirely too ashamed to come forward. Thankfully, I've never been in that situation, but have seen it done to other women. Yes, I, but have I seen it done to other women? Yes, I have. So a lot of people are saying that, you know, on the, the press, uh, the media exclusive, it was like, oh, uh, Kay's number one girlfriend in the corner. And you kind it's kind of like she be like how she was on there, K lied to y'all, and we all was sitting there looking at it like, you know, he was lying to you, baby girl. So you could clearly see that to me, from the looks of it, to me, it seems like she's doing, you know, the best that she is can is able to do right now to express herself and to live her life. You get what I'm saying? Or to try to get back to some type of sense of normalcy. But to me, it's you could tell that um, it's it's a lot going on. Like, you know, saying that you're the number one girlfriend, and but he has other girlfriends in other cities. Or saying like, oh, you know, these other women were, uh, you know, doing this, that, and the third. But I wasn't. It's just, it's kind of like people are like, is this a minimization of stuff? Like what like what is going on? So I definitely get it from both perspectives. I just think that people gotta give it some time. You know, she has been around a person that was very manipulative. You know, people who are manipulative, they have, you know, spirits and stuff going on with them. Um, and there's transference of things. So you have to give it time. Like when you see people now it's just you what i feel like it's nothing wrong with you saying that you peep that spirit though but just know that a person you know just pray for a person so that they could get uh deliverance in their whole situation but i definitely y'all on the part where she was talking about um i think he caught her trying to talk to um you know her school classmates or something like that on the phone and she said like he you know took the size 12 air forces and you know kind of went to town and she had she said she had welts from you know you know all over from i think her neck down or something like that but it was just that part was sad and then she talked about how um he had another girlfriend you know, I guess, you know, some hygienical stuff was talked about. And I, I just felt like so sad listening to this because it's like, you you got this girl, she's clearly out of this, this bugged out, unfortunate situation, you know, trying to pick up the pieces. And you could clearly see like this man's, Mark is still on this situation because I feel like some people say like, okay, they're seeing her personality. I personally feel like we're seeing a part of a part of her, but we're still seeing him in certain ways. It's the same with the whole joy situation. You know how people are like, oh, joy uh, hasn't woken up yet. I think that as has woken up, but you know, it takes time to get delivered, especially People, they come out of relationships, they might still keep the clothes, they might keep the bags, they might, you know, keep certain mementos, and all of that stuff have negative spirits attached to it if the person was negative and had different stuff going on, you feel me? So, um, when you come out of a situation like that, it's a very vulnerable time, because if you fall back into something else, it's like them, those, those spirits... Um, try to come at you even harder. So definitely just make sure y'all pray for As that she, you know, stay, stay good, be blessed, prosperous, and you know, the deliverance and healing take place. I'm definitely, um, happy that she told her story for the first time, you know, despite, you know, people's mixed opinions or views on it. Which, I mean, that was expected to me. I don't understand why people just... That was expected because of the social media presence that was made by her and her dad. Like, I expected that. But it just really sheds a lot of light on this whole situation. And the light is, is that this man 
you know, basically him being, you know, a person that was a hurt person growing up, you know, as a youth and being in those unfortunate situations, he turned around and did the very same thing to other people. And unfortunately, you just see, like, where he left his mark on these people, man. Like, you see uh, Joy still ain't talking to her people and still following his uh, his commands as if he's as if he's still around. So, you know, we're going to pray for her. Um, you know, Lord, you know, whatever way that you uh, see fit on doing that, please release that girl from that. That she could be free from that. And Yeshua HaMashiach, holy name. And with the ass situation, I pray that deliverance and healing take place. And um, that any uh, lustful, lascivious spirit or any manipulative spirit that came from K or anything else, that that girl be free from that. So that she could be prosperous, move on, and know that she's beautiful and she's talented. Um, you don't need no man to put you on in life. You could totally be a girl boss and entrepreneur on your own. Um, and the most high God is all that you need to make that happen for you. You don't got to look to no man to make you great. You feel me? So, and it's definitely, uh, a lot of girl bosses, especially, um, on YouTube that she could see that's role models to make, um, you know, a successful career without the help of a, a, a man or, you know, looking for a man to make you great. You don't need nobody but the most high God to make you great. She has, you know, beauty, talent, and she's young. You feel what I'm saying? So she got her whole life ahead of her. And um, hopefully once this try situation happened with Kay, this whole situation could... um be put behind these young ladies so that they could do more with their life because their life is not uh k shouldn't define their life and you know this whole situation and i mean like i said y'all i was saying early i said what when i was recording that i said something else is gonna come out with this k situation as surely as i said that i was like yo there's an interview what let me look at this interview and y'all when I tell y'all it was some parts of the interview where I kind of felt you know so sad because you could clearly see the way that this um young lady has been emotionally um lashing out different ways that there's a lot going on like her um and her wanting to be the most important girlfriend and stuff like that. That's that's wanting love and validation. Her social media presence. That's wanting love and validation. So just send your prayers and love and support. Because, um, you know, that's a lot. You know, you um, 17, you going off on your own to, to get a career. And, you know, it, it's just, it's unfortunate how this whole thing played out. You feel me? Because that part of her life, she could have been off somewhere, maybe at a college, you know, making something of herself. And this dude got with this girl. And I honestly, I don't feel like it's no favorites in this situation, you know. And that's that's another sign of emotional, um, where you need emotional validation, where I was the number one, I was this. When the bottom line is, if it was girlfriends in every city... Then us on the outside looking in, you know how people be like, I want to be that main girl. If you the main girl, that means that it's entrees and other situations and side jones. So it's just like, you need to be the only. And you get what I'm saying? There is no favorite in a in a situation to where it's multiple and the person, like nobody would have ever been enough for this man to uh, feed his appetite into that uh bugged out ideology that he had from different stuff happening to him nobody would have been enough to uh feed that so it's just you are valuable and you are a beautiful individual just because the most high god created you that way you feel me you don't need no man to be like i was the favorite this or whatever like you are a jewel and a daughter of the most high God. 
in a creation of the most high God. That's all you need to be um special and great. That's the only person that you need to think uh who you want to think, you know, that you you know you're loved by or that you're special to because you're special to him. You feel what I'm saying? Um and it's just sad for me um as a young woman myself to see that because that just remind me um Y'all know how Summer Walker did the remix to uh, Drake. Or was it? I don't know. But you know girls need love or whatever. So that's just what it reminded me of. Is that girls need um, love. And it seemed like it was some searching for some validation there. That's just what I'm picking up from that. It was some a search for validation. And that maybe if, you know, she would have got in a career or something like that it would have been I don't know like it just maybe that could have made her feel like okay at least I got this out of it but she's gonna have plenty of opportunities you get what I'm saying you just can't be hasty and anxious for nothing she's gonna have plenty of opportunities as long as things are done in decency and order there will be plenty of time and opportunities um, you know, for your life to turn around. Excuse me, y'all. But what are y'all's thoughts about this whole interview? Got my phone all ringing. What are y'all's thoughts about this interview? Um, and as and what she said, leave your thoughts and your comments down below. It's King Brittany Chanel. Definitely make sure that y'all are blessed and y'all stay drama free, stress free, you know kiss your loved ones hug your loved ones tell them how much they mean to you and you know enjoy your the rest of your evening y'all leave your thoughts about this down below in the comment section and yeah i will see y'all soon on the next video hey honeys thank you for watching my video and if you haven't definitely make sure you check out my teespring king Brittany chanel couture where you can find my latest merch i upload a lot of new designs frequently so definitely make sure you check it out we have mugs we have wall tapestries canvas art pillows fleece blankets apparel and so much more thank y'all for watching and i'll see y'all on my next video